Mike's Daily Podcast. FF episode 1476. Am I unscrewing this microphone off its stand or simply making it tighter? That's the question I'd like to ask you today. As we broadcast live from Cafe Anyway, located somewhere in Podcastro Valley, Mont, the last place on earth. And it was haunted yesterday, Cafe Anyway. If you did, if you missed the haunted Cafe Anyway ep- 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 episode, that was last show. Mike's Daily Podcast. The Halloween show, but it's 1476. That is when America was founded, according to revisionist historians. Mike's Daily Podcast. And there are also in that time frame dirigibles flying around with missiles on them to launch at anything that's found like treasure by the pirates who fly in the air and their names are Frank and Pierre. I am Frank and I am Pierre. Hello. Mike's Daily Podcast. Is it Frank? Or is it Frank? I'm French! Why do you think I have this outrageous Mike's Daily Daily Podcast? Podcast. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Yeah! That's all I have to say. Because the podcast yesterday was awesome. I don't know if I can get anywhere near what, how good it was. So we got Benita, the disgruntled fiddle player, and the brewmaster popping by Halloween yesterday. I didn't give out any candy. I had a whole bowl ready to go now what am i gonna do with this bowl hey you could just walked in hi mark it's pretty the rodeo queen how y'all doing it's a disgruntled field player tell you what what i sure hate that robert Mueller. bueller no Mueller. bueller Mueller. bueller and how he's trying to get trump to leave the president see Oh, look who else walked in. Hello, Mike. I make the delicious root beer. I have some right now. Oh, boy. I'm the beer master. Wow, beer master. You just turned into some kind of lion. Go! Yeah, I feel better now. That's good. We are the knights who say... Me! We got a little bit of a Monty Python thing. Oh, I saw one. <laughs> one of the best things I saw last night as I was walking my dog around Podcastro Valley, Mont. And here's today's podcast picture. For Halloween, which I'm going to play it one more time. Here we go. This is Halloween. This is Halloween. The podcast picture today is of me because this show is about me and it always has been. This show is about me and it always has been. And the podcast picture is actually, oh yeah, this was taken over at the Hayward Regional Shoreline. I haven't posted Hayward Regional Shoreline pictures lately, but this is one I think from earlier this year and it's around sunset and there's kind of this nice... The, the clouds are cool in the dusk at time and there's these big you know when they build up breakwater at, in certain areas they will just grab sometimes they recycle huge chunks of old destroyed freeway or buildings and they just lay it along the coastline and I'm standing next to this huge chunk of concrete and I can only hazard to guess where this concrete came from but there it is. It's trying to hold the water or the keep the erosion at bay. At the bay. The East Bay. Yay. See that picture at mikesdailypodcast.com where you can also help out the show through the Amazon link. Buy whatever it is you're going to buy and it helps us out. Nobody does it. But do it anyway. And there's also the PayPal. You can help us out that way. Get a special greeting from all the Cafe Anyway characters. Like the guys that walked in and, and the Scrunnel Fiddle Player who's so mad at Muller. Yeah, Muller. And that stuff of Papa Dop and Up and Up and Pop of Up Dop Dop and Up 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 Yeah. That guy. Bueller. Bueller. And Muller finding out about him. And I guess this George Papadopoulos has been helping out behind the scenes, the FBI, for quite a while now, a couple of months. He was arrested back in June. 
And he's been helping out with all the investigations into the Russians and how they helped, as Elizabeth, as Elizabeth Warren said. America elected Donald Trump. And yeah, the Russians helped. That's right, because Donald Trump thinks we should get along with the Russians. Why the hell? I say it's better to get along with Russia than not. So this stupid story continues. But no, it doesn't. It stops right here because I will not talk about it anymore for the moment. But that is the. Oh, so these people were walking along a family a beautiful mom, good looking dad. They're handsome young kids and their dog who was a well what kind of was it oh it was like a labradoodle but it was a brown labradoodle a golden doodle wait how can that happen a, a golden doodle that was brown a brown doodle anywho that doesn't sound good uh th- this dog and basil sniffed each other and played a little bit in the dark because it was in the dark and there was a song being sung by that guy who sings the stroke and oh uh billy idol no billy squire thank you one of the billies from the 80s there were a lot of billies in the 80s you had billy idol billy squire billy joel and don't forget billy corgan oh wait he was in the 90s and the whole grunge thing and smashing pumpkins all the pumpkins are a smashing now my friend because it's post halloween and it's it's not Halloween anymore and that's the no more Halloween right so the podcast picture is of me did we get to that yeah oh but this family was playing with Basil the Boxer and they were really nice and I suddenly realize as they're walking away I yell at them oh my god you're all dressed as lumberjacks (laughs) <laughs> and they go, yeah, we are. And I go, I should be behind you with a boombox playing the Lumberjack song by Monty Python. And they laughed. And they're young. They don't know what that is. The Lumberjack song by uh, the Monty Python that we all sang because it was so funny. And it... I eat my lunch, I go to the lavatory. <laughs> Wednesdays I go shopping and have buttered scones for tea. He's a lumberjack, he's okay. I don't want to get dinged by the YouTube. And I just filled out and had to sign a huge freaking thing. I had to sign, I had to watch a long video about copyright stuff. And they were... Oh, you can't play anything from YouTube because you don't own that. And da 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 da. We're covering our butts. Oh my God, who is she? Where does what the fox man? They're female anchors. Just what the heck? That's all I have to say. Okay, that is, and their their male anchors as well are dashing. But they don't have to wear such tight clothes as the female anchors do. That's a little off, isn't it? Or quite a bit off. You decide. You can call me. 1336-MM-DAILY. That's in the 336 area code. That's right. I'm in North Carolina. MM-DAILY. No, I'm in Podcastro Valley, but that's the number I got. 336-MM-DAILY. Or you can email me. Mike's Daily Podcast at gmail.com. Would sure love to hear from you. So parents who held teacher hostage at an elementary school were killed by police after an hours long standoff to switch the uh, tone of this show. But what a shocking story. This happened yesterday evening, Riverside Elementary School. This is in Los Angeles. Uh, they, a, uh, they shot a parent who had taken a teacher hostage the parent identified as Riverside resident Luvel Kennan, who's 27, uh, died at the hospital. The teacher, Linda Montgomery, sustained some scrapes, abrasions when she was grabbed and pulled into an empty classroom. Riverside, man, some crazy stuff goes there. Remember that hostage, or not the uh, the terrorist attack uh, a couple years ago. 
that the iPhone was involved with that they the police said hey open up this iPhone Apple and they said no during the seven and then they said we'll do it ourselves during the seven hour standoff crisis negotiators made contact with the man but never heard from Montgomery which is why authorities decided to storm into the room at about six o'clock here on Halloween night it's unclear whether the man was armed but witnesses did not report seeing any weapons officials canceled classes at the Mount Elementary School the rest of the week and the other big news Trump called for merit-based immigration following the deadly truck attack that happened, you probably also heard by now, yesterday in New York City. Eight people killed, 11 injured. He said on Twitter yesterday that the driver in the attack came into our country through what is called the Diversity Visa Lottery Program, and he called that a Chuck Schumer beauty. Chuck Schumer, the Democrat senator. From New York, officials said the attacker is an immigrant from Uzbekistan who came to the U.S. legally in 2010. They haven't said as of this recording whether he came in through the Diversity Immigrant Visa Program, which covers immigrants from countries with low rates of immigration into the U.S. He tweeted, Trump tweeted, we are fighting hard for merit-based immigration. No more Democrat lottery systems. We must get much tougher and smarter, he said. And now for something a little more uplifting. And that would be Apple users are quickly growing accustomed to effortless wireless pairing between the iPhone or Mac computers and AirPods because they don't mind spending all that money for AirPods and losing them occasionally. They got all that extra money because they're freaking rich snobs. But Google has been working on something that should remove at least some frustration from connecting Bluetooth gadgets to Android phones. Some speakers and headphones let you speed up the pairing process with NFC. Now devices running Android 6.0 and others will get yet another even better option called Fast Pair. This according to The Verge. The new approach uses Bluetooth low energy and your Android phone's location to automatically discover Bluetooth accessories in close proximity and then automatically connect with a tap. When you've got a fast pair enabled device nearby, your, uh, which I guess they don't have many of those yet, your Android smartphone will fetch the device's product image, product name, and companion app from Google servers. Once you hit connect, you should see a confirmation when pairing is successful. Then Android will offer to download the accessories companion app. Noise canceling headphones often have apps to configure, as do some speakers. Baby, you'll listen to me through that at some point. As we go outside a cafe, anyway, we're bringing you Mike's Daily Podcast to Podcaster Valley. Or if you're a rich snob person, you'll be listening to me through your wireless buds. Hey, I'm your bud. Thanks for being my bud here at Mike's Daily Podcast.com and Cafe Anyway Outside. Where we see a bunch of broken, smashed pumpkins. Damn it. Who did this? Who did this? Clean up this mess. Did you do this, Brewmaster? Yeah, I sure did. And I'll do it again. Oh, boy. Oh, my, my, my. I'll break something over your head, too, while I'm at it. No, that's okay. No, I will. No, really, that's not necessary. No, I'm going to break something over your head. Okay. Ow. That was not pleasant. Here, I shall respond by doing this to you. Oh! And end scene. Next show, it's going to be Madame Rutabaga Valentino and Bison Bentley. Enjoy your day. Mike's Daily Podcast is written and produced and performed by Mike Matthews. His podcast is super easy to find. Download or listen to his show and read his blog at mikesdailypodcast.com. Email Mike now at mikesdailypodcast at gmail.com. See you tomorrow. Bye!